Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Hello there, baseball fans. Before Tuesday's action gets kicked off, let's recap what went down around the league on Monday. Starting in the AL West, the Texas Rangers did battle with the M's at Safeco Field, and it was the Mariners who came out on top 10 to 4. Willie Bloomquist was a fantasy owner's dream at the plate with three hits and four RBIs. He extended his hitting streak to a modest six straight games. Gavin Floyd earned the victory on the mound, his eighth of the season. As of today, the Mariners sit in fourth place in the American League West, five and a half games back. The Dodgers did interleague battle with the Angels in Orange County, and it was the Halos who prevailed. The final was seven to four. C.J. Crone was clutch with the bat in his hands, driving in five runs on three hits. Right now, the Angels are leading the AL West, three and a half games ahead of second. The Dodgers are leading the National League West. They hold a dominant nine and one half game advantage. The Astros visited the Athletics in Oakland, and it was the Strohs who pulled out the victory. The final was one to nothing. Brett Oberholzer was victorious on the mound and picked up his 10th win of the season. At the moment, the A's are in third place in the AL West, but they currently hold a spot in the AL wildcard race. The Astros are second in the division, but they currently lead the AL wildcard race. The ball... Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Hello, baseball fans. Thanks for joining us on this October morning. Here's what's going on around the league as the postseason rolls on. For Game 6 of the World Series, the Los Angeles Dodgers were in Detroit to take on the Tigers, and the Dodgers collected the W, clinching the World Series championship. It has been a storybook season for them, and they will look to repeat as champions next year. Clayton Kershaw was dominant on the bump, grabbing the victory with a complete game effort. 